in terms of us really stamping this region an amazing way of being the home of this crazy concept of silo art. I reckon this is the biggest regional art project in Australia's history. This is huge, biggest gallery in the world. If they're gonna come and see the silos, we really want them to see this whole part of the world and see that amazing stretch of drive from the Wimmera in the south right up into the, the rolling dunes of the Mallee up here in the north. 180 k's, it's a, it's a big shire. There's, an, I mean, a number of benefits to a project like this. For me, it's more about creating something the community can be proud of. Muralism, street art and public art can kind of break down some of the, the barriers that you get stuck in with the gallery system. And, you know, people out here are five hours away from the National Gallery of Victoria. Yeah, we're pretty isolated out here. What was really exciting was that the Patchy Wallach one was to manage to coincide with the music festival. Well, going on the crowd today, it'd probably be a thousand or more. Yeah, they'll come from miles with this. You're going to be introduced to a lot of country people and country hospitality, and you're definitely going to know if you've been to Patchy Wallach. You do have to get yourself a t-shirt to say that you've been here and a stubby holder, because they're gold. They're keeping me fed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People just really go out of their way to make you feel at home, you know, and make you feel welcome. It's something unique, but it is very good. All local artists from everywhere around the countryside. Oh, the sheep race, yeah, that's over there. Oh, that's absolutely brilliant. Some sheep are in tutus, pay particular attention to the jockeys on the sheep. I go to other festivals and, and I enjoy them, but they're not this laid back and they're certainly not this iconic. Everyone just has a good time. I don't, uh, I've been here, what, four years and I don't think I've ever seen one scuffle. Yeah. Seen a, seen a few bodies laying on the yeah, roadway. Right oh, yeah, <laughs> you've got to step over a few occasions, but yeah. <laughs> you come here, you're in the middle of nowhere. I mean, as Victoria goes, we're, we're, we're about as far from anywhere as, as you can get. People hear about things like this and say, oh, gee, I've got to go up and have a bow peep at that. And go over there, you'll see probably a hundred caravans sitting there. They're the grey nomads. They follow an artist, so they'll turn up and have a, have a good time and figure, oh, we'll come back to that again and spread the word around so if something else comes with them. And... I think this is an experience that people can't have anywhere else. You know, the last 10 or 12 years have been pretty challenging, basically weather, what, what rain we've had on the farm. Four years ago, it was the International Year of the Farmer, so we decided to run a small music festival. To try and raise a few bob to help people out. And it's grown quite dramatically since, since that first music festival on. Logistically, you've got to imagine when you run out of bread, the nearest bread shop is 150 k's away. It's amazing what can be achieved. Silo rising out of that landscape with a beautiful image on it. I just think it's just, just magnificent. It's exactly what this town needs. It's a great thing for the community. And hopefully it'll help the local trades out a bit as well. Talk about add colour to the town. It's just amazing what artists can do. It's not necessarily about the individual as well. It's more about just capturing kind of the spirit of the community through an individual kind of a social realist painter. I like painting kind of just regular working class people. I like honouring working class. Well, I guess it epitomises a local farmer. I think the people have got a more positive attitude towards things. Their attitude is, we will we'll make it happen. People are really conscious that they need to take responsibility for their own lives and their own, their own towns. And, you know, Patchewallock's a tiny little town and yet they, they put on this amazing event. And that's just about people saying, well, wouldn't it be great to have an event in this town? And so they just do it. That's, that painting up there, it's perfect for a little town. Perfect.